Here's what would happen if we nuked Kepler 22b. This exoplanet might be our twin, roughly 2.4 times the radius of Earth, orbiting a star similar to our Sun. But it's time to say sayonara. As scientists don't know exactly what it's made of. It could be a water world or a mini Neptune with a thick atmosphere. It doesn't matter though, because today we're going to use all of Earth's biggest, baddest bombs to blow this evil twin apart. The distance between Earth and Kepler 22b is about 600 light years. At the speed of the Voyager 1 spacecraft, it'd take us about uh, 10 million years to reach the planet. But with advanced future technology that could travel at full light speed, it would hypothetically take us just 600 years. Just. As the first of our bombs exploded on Kepler 22b, the blast would light up the surface like a tiny spark on a world far bigger than ours. The fireball would vaporize anything nearby, sending shock waves ripping across the crust or ocean or whatever lies there. We can't know for sure as we don't know what it's made of. But we do know that Kepler 22b is huge. Its gravity mass and atmospheric pressure, if it even has an atmosphere, would swallow that explosion like it was nothing. On a planet this massive, a Tsar Bomba sized blast wouldn't even scratch the surface, at least in any meaningful way. In order to do that, we'd need an amount of energy close to the planet's gravitational binding energy, basically the total force of what's holding the entire planet together. That's about 10 billion trillion times more energy than all the nuclear weapons on Earth combined. So even if we detonated every nuke ever built all at once, it would barely register. But even if a bomb couldn't destroy the planet, it could cause regional devastation, massive crust fractures, earthquakes, maybe atmospheric loss, especially if Kepler 22b has a thin crust or a volatile rich surface. It might even destroy our evil twins if they exist there. So yeah, nuking Kepler 22b wouldn't destroy it. And maybe that's a good thing, because 